map fans today we're looking at a little bit of cartography so this is taken from John Nelson's original blog on how to create lightsaber lines and what we're looking for is bringing a bit of an edge to our maps and making our lines look as if they're glowing now I'm in ArcGIS Pro 2.0 um, I'm on my laptop so if things hang a little bit just be patient now to begin with we've got a pretty busy map going on here so I'm just going to choose the dark grey canvas for our base map and that's going to simplify things quite a bit. The next thing that I need to do is add in some polygons and that'll be for our countries so let's get in with the shorelines of our countries add those in you can see those added now because we're doing line work first thing I want to do is take out the fill so I'll click down here open up the symbology and we'll get rid of this solid fill we will turn it to no color now the way that we're going to construct these glowing lines we are going to use a series of the same layer and we're going to copy it and we're just going to style it slightly differently each time so to start with we'll go with a 0.7 point the color is going to be white i'll just apply that and there we can see we've got our shorelines they're looking nice and bright against that gray and what we will also do is go to the appearance tab and change our transparency up to 40 percent Okay, so that's our first layer done. Now I'm going to copy this layer and I'm going to paste it in to our map. So now we have two layers exactly the same. For the one below, I am going to crank up the width, make it three points, and we're going to start putting in some color. So I'm going to start down here with tourmaline green and we're going to move in a diagonal line. So I'll put that in, uh, we've cranked it up to three points, that's good, I'll apply that, wow, okay, so that's quite the neon effect already, uh, but it's not really the color I want to go for, I'm looking for a blue here. So I'm going to turn up the uh, transparency to 85%, okay, that, and you can see that it brings it right out. So now we've just got that hint of green, I'm going to copy this layer again. and then paste it in. Okay, place it to the bottom, and again, we're gonna work on this. This time, I'm gonna crank it up to five. For our diagonal, I'm looking for tourmaline green, which was this one. I'm gonna move to moray blue. Very nice. Okay, let's apply that. And again, very bright. That is because we need to change our transparency up to 85. There we go, much more subtle. And finally, I'll paste in one last time, bring it down to the bottom. Let's do the transparency first this time, and then we'll move over to the colors. So, Maria blue and now we're down to ultra blue ultra fantastic we'll go for seven points this time apply that there we are now look at that we have some neon shorelines now in this uh, world shape file that I've got all the islands are obviously highlighted which brings a bit of noise to it um, but one thing I did do earlier was take the country borders as well and styled those slightly differently. I gave those a kind of orange effect. So let's turn that on, have a look at how they look. There we are. So that's that. Uh, the neon world, um, as first described by Mr. John Nelson. Thanks very much, John, and thanks to you for watching. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Happy mapping.